All right, hey everybody. We are back with a second entry in our Let's Play of Sybil, the new um, indie game that we've been playing a little bit the last couple of weeks. Uh, Michael is in stream again with us, the uh, game director. And um, so as we find any issues or any questions, we'll ask him. And then uh, this is also captured from Twitch. So if anyone asks questions on there, I'll try and answer them and repeat the question. That way anyone who's on uh, on YouTube watching this later can get the benefit of knowing what the heck I'm answering. Uh, they just brought out a new version literally like 10, 15 minutes ago. So we have the very latest one running here, a new zone. And apparently we need to backtrack to town to pick up a new ability in town that I would have gotten if I restarted but I don't want to restart so uh, we'll do that wait why don't I just kill this boss and then go back to town Good. Right. yeah I think the boss should be working well this time uh, somebody else did the boss on stream and it worked for them so hopefully it will not go out for you this time all right, so we got our speed armor on. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, hey! Whoa, oh, oh, hello. Oh, yeah, I see. Uh, it's working. That's kind of the opposite of a Dark Souls boss. The boss tumbles. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I love how there's walls on uh, three sides of the arena, but not the other. Yeah, oh, okay, I was going to whack him on the nose. Uh, yeah, I think it was originally meant to have a fixed camera, but we were kind of still peeking out. Oh, God. Yeah, you wanna whack him on the nose. Fudge! I messed up. <laughs> well, I mean, last time we were playing this, oh, it, we are still getting some lag every once in a while. I should put up a, um, grab an FPS counter to stick in here. You should consider uh, adding one. If you use, if you add, like, add a game to Steam, you know, you'd have, how you're gonna add a non-Steam game. You actually have the option in the Steam to do a FPS overlay. I do have the FPS overlay en enabled on Steam. I just figured this probably wouldn't be compatible with that, but I can try that. It's it usually works for me. If I if I add it as a non-Steam game and then run it through Steam, it usually works. Oh, I missed him? There we go. Oh, shit. Oh wait, that's right, this one you can shoot. Haha, <laughs> I forgot. Oh shit. You're not having any of that. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Ranged attack, not <clears throat> quite so effective. Really? One more. Oh shit. No. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, really? I got too close. Ah. <laughs> oh, 
Oh well. Uh, now I can't enter. What? Oh! Just very laggy. Yeah. Some of the transition scenes still occasionally take a second to load. Hmm. I'll load that. Shit. You gotta like guess where he's coming out of his roll so you can bop him right in the nose quickly. <laughs> I love how he's like sliding back on, on his stomach like Ugh. Honestly, needs a more sandy texture in the base of this map, so it, 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 it makes more sense when he sticks his head in the ground. Yeah, instead of looking like you have uh, frozen pea cubes. Looks like a uh, yellow snow. Cubes. <laughs> cubes. <laughs> if, if you notice, uh, the. Nita actually gives off a little puff of dust when you're running on something now. Did you notice that? Oh, a little bit, yeah. Helps with your depth perception just slightly. Oh, are you kidding me? What? Damn it. That was stupid. Oh god. Let me jump! Ow! How is he so close to me? I can't get away now. Damn! Okay, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Woo! Okay, we got two crystals. Now we have new stuffs and things over here, apparently. Oh, wait, this chest is closed again. Okay, doesn't give you anything new. So that's two bosses down. A giant armadillo. Is that being so weird? <laughs> yes, like watching bouncing drugged up pigs. All right. Let's talk to this guy here. Next guardian. Wait, oh, I want to talk to you. Jungle to the east. Are you sure you're ready for this? It never hurts to tread familiar territory. Uh, okay. So you say there's an ability I need to pick up in town. How would I know that there's ability to pick up in town if you didn't tell me that? Also, the jumping is still kind of having issues. Alright. What do we got here? Ooh, I didn't know you could actually walk on that. That's cool. Is my voice cutting out? Uh, your voice wasn't making any noise whatsoever until just now. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay. Uh... If you go to the south area of town, like there's a uh, body of water, and there should be an island with a chest. Yeah, the, the body of water down south. Oh. South through South. here, I guess? Uh, may maybe she meant the one that's south of the... Aha! Oh, this is new. Uh, 
Amethyst Orb. Near, I can now dodge enemy attacks. Press jump in any direction while blocking. Oh. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, okay. The tumble one makes so much sense, and the roll one makes sense, but the little spin thing, <laughs> running forward is just awesome. Like, woo! <laughs> that is awesome. Ooh, it's raining here, huh? Oh, I like the rain. It is an iframe, so you can't actually dodge using that. I'm sorry, my mic is cutting in and out. <laughs> hmm. All right, what do we got over here? Oh, more frog uh, snakes. My mic seems to be rather badly. Yeah, it is. I don't know why. Oh, you bitch, die. Damn. I don't think there's any health back here. We're going to find out. Okay. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Okay. I, what I wanted to say was the dodge thing is an actual iframe in invincibility frame, so you can use it. You should be able to use it effectively. I, I, I believe that. Oh shit. <laughs> Damn it, I stopped moving. And also that, uh, remember the really long jump in the desert area that you couldn't do before? No! Oh. Oh. With, with the with the green shoe and the dogs, that should be doable now. Hmm. Okay, we'll have to go back there sometime. Yeah, man. There is intentional backtracking. Dodge, it is Metroidvania is in that respect. Right. Ah, oh, I missed my jump. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Wait, it's not letting me jump there. Hey, symbol is updated. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not. Okay, just stop. Okay, I can jump. Um. So if you do like, hmm, how are you supposed to do like a running jump? I don't think that's going to affect that long jump in the desert. Um, because you can't jump in midair, or you can't dodge might... in midair. Maybe we'll have to look. Maybe we'll have to look into it and make sure. She said that her goal is to do a uh, kind of a rhythmic setup, so you kind of get into a rhythm and then you can do a long jump. What I did. I did Uh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oops. Whoa! 
What? Okay, that was a little glitch. I jumped, and I as soon as I connected it, it, it halted my uh, upward movement. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Then. There probably will be some additional tweaks to this, because uh, another new build is coming in about a day from now, so... Alright, alright. We made it. Still actively working on stuff. <laughs> Oops. Oh god. Okay, no health for me, that's good. Wait, is that the poison slime stuff again? I need to switch to my other gear. Mm. I'm gonna assume this is grass because it doesn't look liquidy. Okay. There's yeah. a key. So that opens the door from like way back there. Hello. Oh my god. Oh god. No health. The health drop rate does appear to be a little bit on the low side. Watching is a lot more fun with the dodge, yeah. Well, it appears to be working. I didn't get damaged there. Okay, we're healed. Oh. Oh, I missed the jump. Oh, I could just shoot that, can't I? <laughs> Can you show me? Uh, yes. Okay, I think what's going <laughs> on with my mic is that the connection is a little loose between my computer and my... Oh uh, my can that's just like mm. uh bad wire. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, there's snakes and stuff over there. What do we got over here? Frogs. Okay, another moving block thing. Let's see what we got going on here. Two moving blocks. Um, Giggle Extreme, I kind of pointed this out earlier in Discord, but it's very hard to look at the screen. The overall saturation combined with the shader, not 100% what causes it straight anyways. Yeah, the um, overall saturation reminds me of a... Um, like a 90s or even 80s platformer which i don't think is bad i think that's intended but that combined with the sort of uh cell shading that happens a little bit here on the trees for instance and some of the characters is a little bit um jarring to look at 
I think it's especially greens and yellows. Mm -hmm. Um, because I've noticed that some areas are a little bit worse than others. So we'll probably tweak lighting a little bit. Mm. Yep. Yeah, like for instance, you look at these frogs here. You have you can easily tell where they are because of the cell shading with the outline. But they're the, basically the same color as the grass. And for instance, the other gear, the other gear looks badass. This gear kind of looks cartoony in comparison. Like like oh my god, you got to fix this too. Like unless you like click the like so fast it stops. Like this is almost like, hey, we're playing Tomb Raider old style, but it looks really nice, right? And you play this you're like, okay, we're into uh Power Rangers land or something like that. Hmm. All right. Those are also gigantic frogs, I'm noticing. Okay, so I'm yes. guessing what I need to do actually is bring this this one over here. Oops. And we're going to Okay, you guys. There we go. Oops, nope, nope. You guys are not both going this way. So, if we put this one like here, put this one like here. Let's see what we got here. Well, uh, that could be doable. Shit, come on. No! Oh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Ha <laughs> ha! I don't know what we unlocked, but we did it. Okay, that's where we came in, so we unlocked over here, probably. Yeah, we probably need to make it do, like, some platform moves to and show you what it unlocked. Oh, you attack when you dodge through? Now that is interesting. Oh, with that Omu, with, with that Omu, remember it's spiky Omu, so it does damage to enemies. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's cool. I see you. Hi, Zay. Uh, ooh, what? Hmm. Oh, it does move. Moves this direction only. Yeah, you do have your getting your setup screen on still. Oh shit, I do. God damn it. Good. All right, you say use your shield. Um, oh, I just had to use the shield once to like unstick it. That's interesting.
It does appear to be a glitch, yes. Because I said to hit my shield once. I'm not hitting it anymore, and it, it's working just fine. Right. I will probably rewatch this thing just to take some notes. <laughs> it's all good. Does that with all bombs? So there's more bombs, huh? I, 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 okay. All right. I feel like I'm playing. Oh, what was that old old two D game with like a grid that was like soccer band? Soccer band? Soccer band? I think it was. So so bomb. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that the one where you have like blocks and bombs and you had to move them in the right order to not block yourself off? Yeah. So bomb and or chips challenge. And, and the bomber man. <laughs> hmm. So I think what you're missing here is you don't have a fire sword yet. Okay, so we probably have to run back for that. Um, it's somewhere in the tunnel. Oh, that wasn't the thing that I missed in the, uh... No, oh. I don't think so. Hey, where are we at here? Okay, so this should be the new area. Okay. And it reset. Bomberman, you can still get over there. Get over here. Oh, well, I'm sure I can. Because there's these sides here. I could probably just, like... Yeah. But I feel like that's a glitch. Or a speedrun cheat. Or a speed. Oh, oh, oh! I have it from the game director. That's perfectly allowed. <laughs> Increases max mana. Oh, well, that's kind of like whatever. Uh, wait, Zay, how do I get out now? <laughs> oh shit! You go in, but you don't you get out. Don't God get damn it, Zay! Damn it, Zay. <laughs> I think if I think if you restart, it only start you at a checkpoint. So it's. <laughs> It's a technical glitch, but it's, uh, you can fix it by... Oh, I'm so close. Oh, come oh. on. Come on. Oh. Yeah, that's fair, yeah, that's, that's fair. Oops, no, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Nope, don't, just, just don't stop. Can you do it if you don't? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Fuck that! No restart speed run. Here we go. No. Um. Indiana Jones time! Um, is there anything back there that I want? Let me see here. I don't see anything. No. Okay, fuck that. Oh, there's a, there's a save point. Cool. So there's another key to open this. Is there an area that we haven't gone that we have access to? I guess up around that water up there? Oh, hi, snakes. Unless they... Does this hurt? Oh, yeah. Challenge the boulders. Okay, hold on. What do we got here? This is like gigantic area.
Not completely sure if that was progression breaking or not. <laughs> um, okay. So the, uh, the dodge is not purely, um, invulnerability, because I just got wrecked. Iron armor, sturdy set of armor, immune to enemy touch, physical projectiles, and explosions, but you run slower. Okay, I'll turn that on in the place where it seems obvious to do so. How do you like that armor look? Uh, oh shit! How do you like the look of that armor? Alright, well give me a second when I'm not gonna die. <laughs> okay. I actually really like that. I like the speed boost more. At the moment. I I have actually seen all the Omus and I said we need a pirate Omu too. A pirate armor? Because she has like Viking and all these other things, so we need like a pi one with a pirate hat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll put that Do in. Do it for a know. sea area. So you have like a little boat. <laughs> oh god. I hate these type of things. <laughs> hmm. Okay, when I use dodge, I want to dodge. Oh wait. I'm immune to projectiles and shit. But I am slower than fuck. Oh my god, I'm so slow. Alright, hit me. Uh, that still hurt. Okay. I'm guessing that those don't count as projectiles. <laughs> huh. That or it's a bug. <laughs> like I said, um, I think there are a few things in this build that are not quite finalized, because still... Wait, we have another oh, build coming. Oh! This side out. is not safe! <laughs> that wall is, is buggy. It's quite self-destructive. Oh, okay. Watch the animation you pick things up when you have full mana or health. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a little lip right here. <laughs> He's like blocking me. Hey. Oi, yo. Oi, oi, yo. Jump. Oi. Oh wait, I gotta go this way, that's right. So if I let off the, my right mouse button, and then I click space. So like if I, if I like don't hold, if I hold down right mouse button, the, uh, ow. Oh God, God damn. If I just hold down right click and then uh, use space, it like freaks out. But if I reset, if I re it's fine, so like, Watch, I'm gonna hold down right click and space, space. Oh, oh, see, it's like ignoring every other uh, space. But if I do this, I do it just is a little bit more smooth. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I will definitely watch this stream again because there's a lot of notes I need to take. <laughs> there we go. Wow. Am I audible? Uh, that was audible. I don't know if you're trying to say something before that. Oh! <laughs> I just, all, all I said was I'm gonna t take a lot of notes from this thing. <laughs> oh, okay. So the ar iron armor doesn't work, but the dodge can go right through the the razors without killing you. Odd. Being able to dodge and roll makes the enemies pointless. 
Yeah, it seems a little bit like that. Oh, hi, there's a bomb. Keep in mind, this is the first update with the dots of wall, so we will probably tweak enemies a bit. Keep, keep in mind that this is the first build with the dots and rolls, so we yep. probably will tweak enemies. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I did hear you say that. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just like... This seems, um, <laughs> not accidental. Not sure if my mic is working. Uh-huh. This seems, uh, progression breaking. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> now where am I? I have no clue where I am. Okay, I need to go back and get this fire sword because <laughs> eventually I'm going to get stuck in a place I'm not supposed to be. Hmm. Or maybe I'm just testing the speed running path. Okay. Just completely dodge the fire sword, keep in the speed gear. That's what a speed runner would want to do. It just says go down that corridor. I don't know which corridor is that corridor. <laughs> I don't know how much lag you're seeing. <laughs> All right, what are we looking at here? I think I... you got into a zone that's not completely done yet. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I was wondering, there's like nothing here. We are beta testing the uh, new content before it's uh, new. It's like still, it's still in. Uh... Yeah. It, it'll actually be done like tomorrow. Just like, not quite done yet. Uh, oh, hey, there's stuff over here. Oh, hey, there's a box. Uh. <laughs> That doesn't sound right. I already got iron armor. Yeah, that's probably a test box. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can't uh, get out of here and go... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, though. We double the armor and twice as slow, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to restart though. Uh, do I have to quit the game completely? Um, probably just quit and restart. We'll get you back to your last checkpoint. Okay. Oh well, actually, it's actually updated, so I'm going to uh, just uh, launch it from itch. Yeah, as far as I know, that should work. Hey, I don't know why stuff's not popping up. Let me test over here. Is this working? It is. Hmm. Uh, thanks for the follow, uh, King BMP and Jaden. Thank you. I don't know why it didn't pop up. All right, where are we? Oh, God, it's loud again. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, the different file windows doesn't say, think it's the same thing. <laughs> right. Okay. So. Let's look at the map here. So we could go down the other way. I think what we want to do is come back, um, come back a ways and see if we can't find some gear. So I think. Oh wait, do we get a key for this? I think we got a key. We did get a key. Uh, game? Ah, it didn't uh, lock my... Oh god. Oh my god, it's not... Wait, what? Uh, the itch.io version, uh, my mouse keeps popping out of the uh, frame. That's odd. And... Yeah, it should not be any different than the non-it version, <laughs> to be honest. I 
don't know why I would be doing that. Oh, this is hell. <laughs> well, I kept rolling through the snakes, they kept biting me. There's a save point with snakes by it. Get to the save point. Let me in. Ha 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 ha. They're dancing. They're dancing while I do my exercises. Well, that's pretty fun. All right. Okay, so there's a key here. Something we have to do. Um, hmm. What's here? Uh, huh, okay. So I'm guessing you fixed a few of the ramps that were causing issues that we were talking about last stream, and that's probably why we can now get places we're not supposed to be able to get. Yeah, I was testing whether my uh, bot was connected or not. Because it does this thing, uh, Twitch implemented a new thing where your OAuth tokens expire a lot faster than they did before. So basically every month I have to re-authenticate my bot. Um, I see. Um, I, I think the salt code is probably getting redone because basically originally we implemented the slope code to oh no like no it's doing this again <laughs> oops all right oh, oh boy that's, that's a lot of bugs yeah well i was up on the slope too so it like <laughs> okay hmm I, I think the salt code is being retweaked because basically we did like a. Originally, the goal was to do like a Super Mario 64 style wall where if you climb up it a little bit, but it's not really supposed to be climbed, you fall back down. But then in the desert, we had all those salt areas where it makes it kind of hard to work with, so, you know, just kind of. Finding a balance. Yerp. Okay. What's that cutting out? Nope, you're good. Okay, good. I, I kind of wish there was some way I could tell if I was cutting out, but there's not. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can actually um, look at your icon in Discord and see whether or not you have, you get a green um, circle around your name or around your icon. Well, I'm using push to talk, so that doesn't always work. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Oh wait, I can't I can't do this area because I don't have the fire sword. So we gotta figure out where that fire sword is. Sam probably knows. I feel like I got carapace in the And off the pole. I, I, I know where it is, but I'll let him find it. Exactly. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait. It should have, it should be like way back where we, right before that first explosive thing, right? Oh, shit. It's in an off spot. It's kind of weird to find, to be honest. Oh, okay. Oi! Oh my god, there's so much shit! Wait, is there nothing? Oh, there's a switch. Okay. Oh, that's that other door back there. Okay. Go away. I will when I get a minute. Okay, we're just gonna run back here 
to the safe spot because I got to go work on food. So I need to take like a, I don't know, three minute break or something. But I will be right back. Wait. Wait, is there a save point through here? It might make it quicker. Um, is this another area I'm not supposed to be? Mm, if it's jungle, it should be. Oh, okay. lava! Oh. Okay, well, I found the fire sword. <laughs> I like that. Oh, oh! That's, uh, maybe not go in the fire. Wait, how was I supposed to have got... Mm, oh, I, you had to go back for the iron armor. So it's just the iron armor I wasn't supposed to be able to get yet. Mm, I think the, the iron armor you are supposed to get in the jungle, but... Well, I, yeah, I just wasn't supposed to get it um, the way that I got it. Like, I yeah. needed the fire sword to get it, usually. Something like that. All right, I'm guessing the key is back through there. So this looks relatively si Oh wait, it's right there. I was like, there's gotta be one of these here somewhere. So I avoid some backtracking. Okay, game, let me, let me jump. There you go, I'll be right back. Uh, what's our recipe here? Da, 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 da. Wait for 15 more minutes. Okay, cool.
All right. Sorry about that. Break is over. All right. So. Uh, really quick eating. <laughs> no, this food's not done yet. Okay, so now uh, we got the lava sword from down there on the bottom right. We explored a bunch in the middle right that we weren't supposed to. Um, okay, so at this point I'm a little bit... Well, I guess there's some stuff here. So if we go... No. Which way? Oh, this way. So there's probably the key over in the... Okay, let's go get that key. Oh, we went there. Yeah, that's that area. This part had me super confused for a really long time. Okay, let me... Okay. You really gotta make it so that when you're in this mode and you press backwards, your character does not point backwards. It is so hard to actually do combat. Like Zay was saying, it makes more sense to just like avoid all con combat than actually use the combat. And obviously that's different if you have the, the locked perspective. The other one, uh, hold on. Because if you use the other camera mode, No, not not this one. Game. Here we go. Oops. I'll stay. Like you're using this mode, it makes more sense to do it the other way. But. Also, so what it's doing is when you go to the menu, my uh, mouse is showing up, which uh, is not then going back when I uh, into the full screen ownership. If that makes sense, I have to click again for it to realize where it's uh, what's supposed to be going on. All right. Oh god. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. So what is the point of the vine sword once you get this sword? Like the iron sword still has the usefulness for destroying the boxes and shit. The vine sword's thing is it shoots a projectile, which uh, this also does. This one just does a better projectile. Yeah, the the vine sword can light the bomb. Yeah, but what about what about the vine sword? Like, is there actually a reason to even use the viney or the thorn sword at all? Um. You, you do use it a few times in the death suit. Um, right, but once you get this, it completely supersedes it. Plenty mods, I guess. But you still might want to use the fast armor to go fast. Oh yeah, yeah the thorn armor certainly has its use, and will probably be the most widely used armor. Once you get it, you can only use the other armor for specific needs. Yeah. But the sword, it, it seems odd that the sword doesn't have, like, a... Whoa, a specific uh, use, you know what I mean? Oh, hello. Just the early game. Yeah, if that's what's intended, that's fine. It just seems a little bit different than uh, the other things that you have. Like the yeah. suit, the, uh, the, the really nice looking armor, the like cloak and uh, hat. 
Um, besides looking awesome, um, still as useful if we ever run into swamp again, which I don't think we're going to run into any of that toxic sludge, uh, anytime soon again, but, you know, you can have that in other levels and there's a point to switch the armor. Right. Yeah, and if we do do a level editor, then people will be able to play around with things like that. Maybe make it so that the fire sword, has, uh, because of when you get it, actually takes two mana to shoot instead of one, so the thorn sword is, like, more mana efficient. That could be good, yeah. But there's no real good use for the projectile, projectile other than lighting the bomb. Um, well, hitting some of the uh, levers so you don't have to jump at them is not too bad. Um, I don't know if it's worth switching weapon to do, but you could have some where you specifically need to line up a shot with your sword or something. One of the rebels is a... Oh, you're cutting out really bad. One of the later rebels will be a ice rebel, so maybe the fire sword could have some use that the other one wouldn't bear. Yeah. Might also make the fire sword be more like an area of effect attack or something like that. Yeah, I was actually apply, thinking of that. Apply moon and do things like that. Or like an A. Ooh, whoa! I'm gonna die. Oh no! Okay, okay I didn't die. Um, or make one of them like have it be like when it connects, it does an AOE, so it's actually useful against mobs and things. But maybe not. Maybe it can't interact with levers, and the thorn one can. So then you could make it there's specific areas where you need to, you know, shoot the lever. So you have to use the thorn for that. It might also be useful if the fire sword had a spin attack. You already True. have one sword that does a spin attack. True, but maybe it could be like a different move. But, you know, you, you, you have. Yeah, if you have the projectile and you have the spin attack, then you have to figure out like some sort of skill based thing. Wait, for... oh, I got turned around somehow. Or make the. Uh... Make the fire one not really a sword, but a whip, Indiana Jones style, <laughs> to go with the awesome other armor. Yeah. There you go. And then you'd have people doing entire speed runs where as soon as they get access to that equipment, they have to use it and do an Indiana Jones run. <laughs> the fire sword fits really well with the iron armor, though. Uh, uh like, um, theme-wise, or...? Yeah, an aesthetic point of view. Hmm. Okay, let's heal up. All right, let's check that out here. Let's do a quick do. Oh yeah, that looks really sexy. That's cool. But so from an aesthetic point of view. But look at this. This sword and the armor at the same time. So you can't tell me this doesn't look like a badass demon hunting Indiana Jones man. Just <laughs> replace it with a whip instead of a sword, and you got it. Lol. Yes. Cute Diablo too. <laughs> Wait, I got the key, I thought. Didn't I get the key? The key is very, very well hidden, and it gives you no clues as to where it is. I ran over a key when I was over there, though, right before the break. I'm very confused. Let's go see if it's back over there. I think it was just by chance I actually got through this. <laughs> well, I have by chance gotten into an area that wasn't unlocked, so I, I believe stranger things have happened. This is true. I think the areas are supposed to have entrances into other areas, but maybe that wasn't one's supposed to be blocked off this building. Oh, that one, yeah, that one had a gigantic... Um, it, it, it had a gigantic what, wall, but I was able to jump over it. Right. What, what probably happened is that, you know, we have another build coming tomorrow, so it was probably, like, still be, being worked on, the next zone being worked on it, so... 
That's probably right, what happened. Right. Well, probably also just wasn't meant to be accessed that way. I mean, in your playtesting, you probably didn't have someone that just happened to do that random series of jumps. Right. Yeah, I mean, th this build will definitely have some good things. I'll. Okay, so there's the lever, which is turned back the way it shouldn't be, I guess. No, that's supposed to be green, right? Green's what we want. It should be. Yeah. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, my, my wife's telling her mom, but uh, I've been uh, trying to dabble with making cheese at home. I don't have any rennet or um, bacteria yet, so I decided to do a quick farmer cheese, and I was going to do it with uh, rosemary and chopped dates. It actually worked really well, but the recipe I looked at didn't, like, called for more salt than I think it was supposed to, and I used, I think, more salt than it even told me to, so it was just, like, un inedibly salty ow so we have to try that again oh cut i'm facing you i'm facing you too much salt can definitely ruin things Okay, so that's yeah, green. That's green. That's yeah, it looks like we need to make the saw blades kill the frogs and, and snakes. Yeah, go for it. They're gonna, they're gonna freak. They're gonna screw us up. They should screw up the wildlife too. One thing when you're fighting them is just line them up, and your sword will hit like five or six at a time. Oh yeah. No, the problem I'm having is I'll point in a different direction and then try and swing, and like my brain doesn't realize that I'm pointing the wrong way until after enough of them are hitting me that it's almost unrecoverable. Okay, here, nope. Okay, so we unlocked something with those green levers. Maybe we could give slightly different oak swing oaks to the fire versus the vape. Okay, so oh. this is where we came from i think oh no this is where the ow see like that <laughs> like you get hit by something and you're just getting destroyed so this is where we got the fire sword there's nothing else in here except law then well i guess there's a little ledge over here is that not on it is there no Hmm. The area too saturated. The fire area? Yeah. Uh, it's pretty saturated still, but it's not like like you said, it's not nearly as like eye sword saturated. I guess you might say. Wait. Oh, you wait. You're not dead. See, like that right there. I was like pointing the wrong direction for so long. What the heck? The combat's based on your mouse. So just turn whatever direction and hit, and that's where it'll hit. Well, watch this. You're rocking backwards. Uh, it doesn't matter where you turn. You're hitting behind you. That That's the thing. Or if you're going, if you're going to the right... Doesn't matter where you turn, you're always pointing to the right. That's the thing. Is like I would prefer if it was a, like a strafing right and backwards and left when you're in this view mode, because you're using the mouse to control where you're looking anyway. So there's not really a good point to be like, oh, walk sideways. Things that it's kind of weird to try and design the game for both controller and keyboard and mouse. 
Even if you're on controller though, if you're using this view here, you're gonna wanna be using, you're, you're gonna want the one to be moving you forward and the other one to like rotate you. Okay, that's green. Ooh. So, I just think when you're in this mode, whatever your controller is, whether it's a mouse or like a uh, Xbox controller or a Switch or whatever, your, for, your, your movement should be like rotating your screen and just moving forward. And then anything else would be uh, strafing. Or if, because otherwise you can't like move backwards and fight, which is tends to be how I like to fight in these type of games to try and avoid taking damage, especially once you have harder, harder enemies that, uh, you know, don't just like group up and shiz. Okay, we're all the way back here. So there must be something we missed over there. Let's sit in the safe circle, see what we got going on here. Okay, so. Okay, there's this black area of stuff I didn't go in that I, I keep missing somehow. So let's go see if we can't get there. Hello. There's so many snakes. So, oh, wow. Okay, that was the coolest thing I've done in this game and uh, it wasn't intentional. I just like sort of like spam dodged and then double jumped and it killed everything and I got health globes. And I saw a bunch of snakes go flying. Yeah, basically. All right, so it's going to be uh, right around here and to the right is where I need to go. Wait, this is the area that's not unlocked. Of course I haven't been there, duh. Wait, what? Okay, I must have gotten the key and it's just not showing or it's glitched and letting me through. <laughs> it's, some, it's somewhere in that big pool of water by the door. That's all I found. Wait, by the big pool of water by the, which big pool of water by the door? That lake. Right here? Yeah, the door you came in, there's should be the lake right beside. I walk all around that lake and then the door opened. <laughs> So I have no idea how I opened that door. Yeah, I, I could have sworn that I actually got the key. So I don't know. Something's probably glitchy with it. But no. we have a uh, save point here. And we've got another boss we're going to try and kill. Uh, I'm going to leave on the speed armor for the first attempt or two and see what happens. <laughs> Is the boss in there now? Well, we'll find out. Well, I believe it should be. It's a, is it lagging again? Um, ba, ba, bum. Yeah, there wasn't one. I, this is what happened to me. I walked into a yellow wall. Just give them a circle. Ah, nope. You gotta be wearing the iron armor. Holy shit, what the? Hi, big dude. Um, oh, okay, yeah, this guy. Never mind. God, I'm so slow. What the hell? Okay, I'm gonna switch armor now. <laughs> hmm. Interesting, interesting. I don't know what's going on here. I think you have the platform on the hands in order to attack the head. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, hold on, let's see. That's what I thought. I tried doing it immediately slammed the ground, so I was like, okay, let's try a different strategy, but... We'll see, we'll see. You'll figure it out. It's not too hard to figure out. Oh, what the hell? Didn't let me double jump. Oh my god. 
Okay, what the hell? Oh my god. It kept, like, colliding me where I wasn't touching. You're getting hit by the lava. At the end I was? Was I the whole time? Yeah, all that red stuff falling, that'll kill you. Right, but the red stuff was falling, like, to my right for the first bit of it, I felt like. Hmm. I must so have just stopped seeing bit, it. But you were stuck in there. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah. Well, once you start getting hit by it, you gotta roll out because it's it moves super slow. Hey. Okay, I fucked something up there. Is he gonna go back the other way ever? I guess there's this one. I didn't do jack shit. Uh, did not appear to do jack shit. Okay, that's good. What? Instead, what if what if the iron sword instead of doing a double jump did a butt stomp? Nah, <laughs> I like that. Oh, the iron armor, I mean. Sorry. How would you use it though? Fuck. Maybe do maybe for like a AOE attack, like when you have a bunch of frogs with snakes around you. Okay, so. I'm hitting him in the teeth and it's not doing anything. Well. Oh god. Zeno has to solve it, but he's yeah. not telling us. Uh, <laughs> why would I say? I Once I figured it out, this was like hella easy. So Fuck! Do That's fine, I don't care, I don't care. Not gonna lie, for a beta there's still a lot of essential stuff to be done. Is it being claimed as a beta? I thought you were calling it an alpha. It's, uh, early access. I mean, at this point, you know, we, we did quite a few versions in alpha, so we figured it should be called beta by now. Ah, <laughs> uh, Michael, you should know better than to call it beta because of how long it's been out. It just froze up. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it just froze up. No, 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 no. So yeah, this is something that I tend to have an issue with being being a software developer myself. An alpha version is one where it is unfinished and you are still um, adding core gameplay mechanics and cleaning up the core gameplay mechanics. A beta means the core gameplay should be there. The core game should be playable without a ton of game breaking bugs. Beta is, okay, we're adding more content and we're getting, you know, user testing and things like that. But if you're still in the stage where shit is just, like, randomly breaking, ow, uh, and you're yeah. still adding, like, core content and stuff, then, uh, oh, wait, this thing turned blue for a second. Hmm. Then it, it's still an alpha if, if you're not to that point. And you can be yeah. an alpha for a long time. Now what? Okay, so it's turning blue, but it's not doing anything. He's... Oh wait, no, he is taking damage. Oh, okay, I just didn't notice that. Okay, come on, come on, come on. You can do your hand attack. Oh, come on. As far as sound design, it seems like the bosses could okay. do with a few more sounds to make so you're getting good feedback. Yep. Oh yeah, this is a lot easier now. Ow, oh, okay. When you don't randomly walk into the hand, uh, it's uh, relatively straightforward. Oh, 
Oops, I fucked that up. Oh, hello. Oh, are you kidding me? I stepped on a... <laughs> I landed on a, th on a thumb instead of the back of the hand and it started wrecking me. And now it's doing the jerk-off animation and... Okay. <laughs> Okay, so it's not letting me do the. It is not letting me do the double jump half the time, which really sucks. Like all every single one of those times where you see me jumping and falling without doing the spin, I'm I'm, I'm hitting for the double jump and it's not um, going, so I can't reach it. Yeah, good to know. Okay, we'll look into that. But. <laughs> Honestly, I guess it just felt like a beta because of like the boost to zones being relatively getting there. But... Right. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, jumping mechanics. Okay, I'm done. We'll go to this hand. Uh, we will take not that route to go to that hand. Okay. Alright, come on. Oh, no. Not done. Okay. Ow, oh, that's a thumb. Uh, you're like right there. Oh, God. It didn't let me do my double jump, but I landed between the fingers. That's not a good place to be. Let me jump. Oh my god. Oh god. This is a, not a good position to be in. You just got this pumped by a giant lion. <laughs> Fuck! Alright. You, you just got this pumped by a giant lion statue. <laughs> mm hmm. Um. So the game locked up again. That's good. Mm. Relaunch. <laughs> Odd. Anyway, there's plenty of good, plenty of good stuff to look into. Um, well, maybe yep. we'll spend like. Two, two days and get some of this stuff updated. Yup. There we go. Okay. Just... Yeah, just be careful when you add things in. Like, this being able to avoid and roll, I'm just not sure how that fits in with all the enemy being so slow. Oh my god. Well, they may not always be so slow. God damn. That's a hand. Wait, what? How did I miss that? Okay, there's that. As long as I fall like straight down, it's not that big of a deal. Hello? What? What hit me? I do have to say, I don't really see the point of the iron armor because um, almost always uh, speed and uh, dodging shit is going to like outweigh being able to tank it. Oh, God. Go away, hands. Uh, no, no. Oh, OK. Oh. Construction. OK. Let's see what we got here. Whoop, whoop. Let me jump. Nope. God damn it. Okay. The hands are now doing the praising and the fist bumping. Oh shit. Okay. What are we doing? What are we doing? Hold on, hun. Jerking. 
Okay, finish that. More. Okay, we need two more. Coming up there is just a lot. <laughs> I know, I lo I'm sure you love me referring to it that way. <laughs> it's just the music. Bum, ba -da -bum. Okay, yeah. Most platformers have a slight delay for performing a jump after leaving the platform, which is most likely missing here. Maybe you are jumping too late. Um, so yeah, the jumps are a little bit finicky in the sense that um, if you're coming close to the edge, it will continue your walk. Uh, animation before it does the jump, I think, is what's going on. So if you go like right there, you had to jump before you're actually fully at the edge, and then you get the effect of waiting till you get to the edge without actually going to the edge. If that makes any sense. Um, like it's almost always better to just jump first and then move. It's just a hard habit to undo from other years of doing other platformers. Okay. So, I think we are going to wrap uh, this episode up. We have killed we killed the boss that we left off at last time. We went through the entire, I guess that was the jungle area. Uh, and killed that boss. Um, found some bugs Michael's going to take back to the team to try and fix up. Yeah. It'll take so, a, all week to clear the trail. Okay. Yeah, I would... I would go and probably to... Try and get this out of beta by the end of April, which I know sounds super fast, but I mean, the whole game has been done like, I mean, we started like the last week of January, so. Remember! Remember the 80 20 rule though. The first 80% of a project takes 80% of the time, the second 20% yes. of the project takes 80% of the time. True. So it could <laughs> take through me. We'll see. Um, and then, of course, we have to actually pass the Nintendo suit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I if I could recommend, I would strongly recommend getting like the next area over up there where I kind of glitched into done, and then just focus on the bugs and let it be yeah. kind of content updates after you kind of get the get core mechanics together. Yeah. We might do a couple more QOL builds. Yeah, I think that would be very helpful. Once New Area is up, I'll be running it. Yep. And I, I'll yep. probably be streaming again next week at 7, either on Monday or Thursday again, depending on when the update comes uh, and what yep. else is going on in my life. Oh, wait. No, next week I'm actually going to be on... I'm going to be on a business trip Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so if we... What? What is... Oh, that's the meat stuff. Nice. Nice. Oh, that'd be what was over here. Okay. So, so yeah, you, you might actually see it next once we have all the content done. Um... Because basically, I think we have two more content runs, and we'll probably do like a bug fix build in between each of those. So. Okay. Well, and then, I don't know so, what the schedule is for next week, but if you have something out before Monday, then I might uh, do a stream Monday night. Otherwise, I'll wait till the weekend. Yeah. Uh, let me look real quick. I'll just let you know. All right, I'm going to end the uh, video here. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, as with the other video, I will, one, get this up on YouTube because I'm being procrastinating about doing that. But I will have a link in the description to check out uh, Sybil and get the game if you're interested. And um, I'll catch you later.